Maddie Banks, founder, executive director of Wildcat. Thanks for coming to Italy. Benvenuta a Dalian Riviera. Thanks for the great cap, buddy. No problems, Simon. Good to be here. We're in Rapallo. Yep. And uh, you're a Rapalesi. Sono Rapalesi, meaning I'm you're Simon Cap from Rapallo. So you're now a Wildcat Easy. Easy, okay. Wildcat Easy. Wildcat Easy. Tabba Tabba Easy, baby. Correct. No, I'm looking forward to going up to Tabba Tabba at some point with you. Be good um, to have you up there. So the, you know what, I was reflecting, Maddie, like when we met last year in London in my office on Piccadilly, it was November and you were there with Sam and you were riding high, you just raised a hundred million dollars with Counterchord at 80 something cents and the stock is capped at a billion dollars. Number one performer in the Australian Stock Exchange last year. How's 2024 been in comparison? Well, obviously external to the, the company, it's been very different, but internally the excitement is certainly still there. Um, we are in the bottom of the cycle at the moment, not sure when it's going to turn, but we liken this time to 2019 when Pilbara Minerals was a $300 million market cap and within two years they were a $4 billion market cap. So uh, we think that there's certainly uh, blue skies ahead, we just don't know when. Right. The, and so Tabata, Tab, what's remarkable is that you got to a billion dollars Aussie of market cap with no resource. And today you're capitalised at 200, 250 Three, million. Uh, roughly 300. 300 million Aussie yep, dollars. Yeah. Still no resource. So when are we getting the maiden resource on Tabba Tabba? I would think by the end of the year. Okay. Definitely. Any guidance? Um, what are we telling them? The guidance, the, I can only refer, I can't uh, guide on t uh, our internal numbers. But guidance in the market from research reports are roughly between 65 million tonnes and 75 million tonnes. Okay. At about 1%. Yeah. And if we were to uh, announce that, that would be a you know twenty plus year mine life, which across the industry is regarded as you know the first metric you look at for a tier one uh, deposit uh, is that twenty year mine life uh, metric. So, so how how big could Tabba Tabba be? I mean, you mentioned seventy million tons is the midpoint of the industry's expectations for the resource. Can it be as big as some of your near neighbours, Pilbara? You mentioned Wadjin and Minres is not far away, Andover. Was just bought by SQM. Well, those three are probably in the top five biggest ore bodies globally for hard rock lithium. We actually don't know how much is there. These systems keep repeating, and it took many years to develop. Uh, say Pilgangora, I think its first announced resource was six million tons, right. and it's sort of grown over a good decade plus uh, from that point. So yeah, we, we haven't put out a price, t uh, sorry, a, a um, exploration, exploration target, target yet. Um, but um, yeah, very exciting. But well, I mean, you couldn't, I mean, it's kind of the lithium triangle. You can't really get a better part of the world for hard rock lithium than that part of West Australia, right? Yeah, it is. So uh, what we want to do is um, very unique uh, with our project is, is it sits on a mining lease. So f for us to take advantage of that, let's say it's three years advantage, we don't want to drill out and spend two years drilling it out. We want to try and get to roughly a, a, a 20 plus year mine life, and then that push that straight into PFS, DFS, etc. And then in the background, whilst we're uh, doing the feasibility studies, we'll keep drilling. And are you going to sell it or build it? Uh, certainly build it. Uh, AJ, we brought AJ on board very quickly. He's who's, who's ex, AJ, AJ is our managing director. Okay. Uh, he's uh, ex Grasberg, uh, my manager for several years. Freeport. He worked through uh, B, uh, BHP. Then he went and bought the Beta Hunt mine privately uh, on care and maintenance, put it in production and sold it for Carora. And Carora's just been bought for two point, uh, 1.2 billion by Westgold. So. He's a leader in the industry as a mining engineer, developer, and mine builder. So, wow. um, and we've also got Tim Manners on board, who's CFO. He's uh, ex Remelius, six years at Remelius uh, with nine M&A deals through that time. Right. Uh, and as you mentioned earlier, one thing that always struck me as unique about Wildcat is that you're on a mining lease, which is highly, highly unusual and permitting is uh, as important as any part of the mining value chain. What, what do you see as the other key steps in the next year for Wildcat that's going to deliver value for shareholders? So we, we've already had a, a reasonable de-risking event in our MET results. Mm. We had 288 kilos uh, of material across a 600 metre uh, strike of the layer deposit. 
uh, very varying grade. Uh, they were industry leading met results up to 84% recoveries. Uh, that's yet to be optimised in phase two. That's coming up now. We're sending a tonne of material to the lab now. I think there's about 700 kilos in the lab at the moment. Our next is our maiden resource, which will hopefully land by the end of this year. And then the building blocks of PFS, some of the building blocks are already being completed this year. So we've already completed flora and fauna surveys geotech drilling and water bore drilling. The mining license already has a, a, a water license on it. It was mined in 2015. So some of those long lead item building blocks have already been completed. So we'll launch a PFS later this year and we should finish that in the first half of next year. And the uh, Pierre Lasson, the Lasson curve famously talks about companies in wildcat stage of development as the valley of death. Uh, is there any exploration going on which might mitigate that? Yeah, we've got uh, 1,200 square kilometres in the Pilbara that we own 100% of. Uh, we're currently drilling uh, the Pilgangora North uh, project, which is 10 kilometres long strike from Pilgangora. Many of the scientific ingredients, um, you know, that, that, that are, give us validation to drill, um, you know, LCT pegmatites, uh, old historical uh, workings for tantalum sits on the Pilgangora fault, which might um, you know help with the uh, conduit to fluids, etc. So that's one. Uh, we've got another soil anomaly called Bulk Hutter East. That's one of the biggest undrilled soil anomalies in Australia um, for lithium, a 50 ppm lithium soil anomaly. So that'll get drilled in about four to six weeks' time. That's called bolt cutter and bolt cutter, yeah. bolt cutter east, and okay. then we've got the whole you know land package. We've got teams out there at the moment um, mapping and rock chipping, etc. So, so that's so that's two or three really big targets that could be the entire Tabba Tabba again, potentially, potentially, yes. right? But the, you know what's driving our value at the moment is the discovery with Tabba Tabba. I don't right. think the future potential discovery at the other projects is really uh, added into the market cap at the moment. And uh, management big shareholders of, of Wildcat? Yeah, we uh, and an ex, all of us and an ex-director hold certainly more than 20%. And then within our network, there's at least another 20% within our close right. network. So you've got good control. Yeah. And have, have you, given that the share price is back 80% or so in the last year, has there been any insider management buying on the, these recent yeah, run? Yeah, because we're going through, we're drilling. Uh, mm -hmm. We had six rigs on site at the start of the year. We've dropped that down, uh, and then we're going through uh, feasibility and uh, maiden resource. We can't buy at the moment, but right. I would think we might be able to buy by the end of the year. Okay, so yeah. we'll presumably we wait and see what the exploration results are from Bolt Cutter and Pilgangura North, Correct. and then after that, Correct. which could be transformative. Correct. So we've got an industry-leading scientific geological team that have made discoveries before. Um, as you know with the discoveries, it's, uh, you need a bit of luck and uh, obviously the scientific reasoning of drilling these targets, so let's hope for a bit of luck, Simon. Well, Matt, congratulations on your success. Thank you for coming along to Rapallo. I hope you enjoy it and I'm looking forward to having a cocktail with you uh, on the water a little bit later. That sounds good, Simon. Thanks for coming.